Hello everybody! I am Evelyn of Pink Sheep Design. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to come on and do a quick review of some new yarn that I just got to try. So, this yarn is by the brand Hooked and it is their spaghetti. Let's turn it this way. There we go. It is their Hooked Spaghetti yarn. This is a recycled t-shirt yarn. So this company works with the fashion industry to utilize um, scrap fabric from items that are being made, which I think is really cool. And it's not just because it's recycled, but because it also makes the fabrics uh, unique that they use for these. So it's kind of one of those things where if you don't buy the one that you want, they may not have it again. Um, so I reached out to them because I really wanted to try this yarn. Um, I had never used t-shirt yarn that was pre-made. So I have made my own t-shirt yarn before using old t-shirts, um, but I had never actually purchased t-shirt yarn. And I'd seen this brand. I I've noticed it a while. I had it bookmarked to try it. I reached out and I told them I wanted to try it out and they sent me some. So this is the colorway that I chose. I thought it was super fun. Um, it reminds me a lot of like the 90s Nickelodeon shows. <laughs> But when I got it and I looked at it close up, I realized that it's actually Mickey and Minnie. So if you open up the fabric, you can actually see like the little Mickey face. So a little bit of lowdown on this yarn. It is 90% recycled cotton, but it is 10% other recycled fibers. Now this other recycled fibers portion actually gives this yarn a little bit of stretch, which in, for me, it actually made it a little bit easier to work with. There wasn't so much stiffness that you find with the cotton yarn and it made it, it, made it easier for me to crochet with. You get 131 yards in one, which is really, I think it's pretty good. And I'm pretty sure that regular priced, this is about nine to $10 for one of these, but they usually put some of their, um, some of their styles will be on sale. So I think right now you can find some for like six or $7, maybe $8 on sale on their website. It recommends using a 10 to 15 millimeter hook and it is made in Portugal. So that's all the info that's on the wrapper. And I wanted to show you guys a, a little bit of me actually working with the yarn. Um, this is a leftover cake from uh, a project that I finished. I'm also gonna show you the project that I finished using this yarn. So I know sometimes that can be super helpful to see what I made. Um, usually this kind of yarn is recommended for making things like baskets and bags and home decor type things, but I love the challenge of taking these super jumbo or super chunky yarn and turning them into wearable functional items. Um, so when I told them that I wanted to make a cardigan out of this yarn, um, their response was kind of, well, this is not really what it's for. And I said, that's fine. I want, I want the challenge. I want to try it. So I actually finished a t-shirt yarn cardigan, which I will show you uh, at the end of this video. Um, for now, I'm going to flip the camera around and we are actually going to work a little bit with this cake of yarn um, so you guys can see how it works with some different hook sizes. So let me flip the camera around and we'll get started. Okay, so um, this is my first time doing a voiceover uh, for my videos, so bear with me. Um, I wanted to show you guys that there is some stretch to this yarn, so you can see me stretching it there. Um, and when you open this yarn up, it is like a folded t-shirt yarn. Let me see if I can zoom in on this for you. There you go. Um, so it just kind of folds over on itself to create the actual yarn that you're using. Um, and you can kind of see the design there. I believe I opened it up to, uh, there we go. So you can kind of see that there is uh, the Mickey Mouse pattern I was telling you about. Let's see if I show it here. Yeah, there we go. So you can see the actual Mickey and Minnie Mouse faces when you open them up. Um, it's it's not as obvious when you're, you know, when you have your finished product, um, but it's kind of cool that you can open up and see that. Um, all right, so I'm going to start with the smallest hook size that they recommend, which is a 10 millimeter hook. Got my slip knot there. I'm just going to make a chain and I'm going to try to work across uh, one row so you can see. Uh, the chain wasn't too bad. I did feel like I was having to struggle a little bit to pull the yarn through. I would not recommend trying to use a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter hook with this yarn. I feel like you really 
do need to up the hook size a little bit and you'll see as I start getting into this first row uh, that it gets a lot more difficult to pull that through and you're really going to have to put some force on your hook which I don't like to do I have never broken a hook um, but I do feel like this yarn yep see there uh, this is really not the best yarn for the smaller hooks I would use a metal hook so if you are trying to make a basket or a bag where you have really really close stitching and you're gonna need the smaller hook I would use like a 9 or a 10 millimeter hook that was metal so that you don't worry about snapping your hook in half when you're trying to work with this yarn um, using a smaller hook is also gonna make it harder on your body uh, because you're having to put so much tension on there uh, but you can see what that looks like. It is, you know, a nice close stitch when you're working with a smaller hook. Um, I'm going to start back up with one of our 14 millimeter hooks. So I went up four millimeters and you're already going to see a difference when I'm working through this chain, uh, how much easier it is to pull those stitches through. Uh, and then I'll work across another row as well. So I would definitely suggest if you don't want the tension the stress and the tension of using a smaller hook which might make it a lot harder on your hands and wrists um, which can lead to some of that overuse pain I would bump up a hook size so I would get closer to the 14 13 14 15 16 millimeter range um, in order to just make it a lot easier on your body when you're working with this yarn and you can still make some really cool bags and still have some nice close stitches so I'll hold this up and you can see what that looks like there and that's just with single crochet so next I'm going to switch to a 16 millimeter hook and work another row across and obviously I'm <laughs> working into stitches that are made with a smaller hook um, but even with that you can see that it is a lot easier um, even doing that than it was with my 10 millimeter try so definitely definitely recommend using a larger hook now I used a 17 and a 20 millimeter hook to create the cardigan that I'm going to show you at the end of this video um, and it was great because I didn't have the pain that I thought I would have trying to work with this yarn because I have heard that this yarn can be difficult to work with this yarn um, other yarn like ribbon yarn um, but I do feel like the stretch that this yarn has helps a lot with making it easier on your body um, another thing that you can do is pull up on your stitches a little bit before you yarn over and pull through that can help you tremendously with you know not having such a tight tension so you can see the stretch there and the finished swatch um, it's got some good stretch which worked out pretty well for trying to create a wearable now I'm going to switch to a 19 millimeter which is the size hook that I used for the body of my cardigan uh, again working into some smaller stitches here but I think I'm going to do two rows for you so you guys can see what that looks like uh, but I definitely like I said I recommend a larger hook size I would go up to at least maybe a 15 millimeter hook I think those are probably the easiest to find we make a 14 but that's not a, a standard hook size so going up to a 15 or a 16 to make something especially if you have issues with pain in your hand and wrists working with more difficult yarn um, try to create something that you can use a larger hook for um, that can be very helpful but overall I really really enjoyed working with this yarn I would definitely use it again I want to try to create maybe some bags and things now that I've meet, met my challenge of actually making a wearable um, but definitely recommend it it's very fun I love all of the color choices um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this see there you go that's a close-up of the swatch going from smallest to largest all right guys it is time to check out the finished project that I made using this t-shirt yarn this is Let's see if we can get an up close of the stitches. I actually used a 19 millimeter hook to create the body of this cardigan and I used a 17 millimeter hook to create this ribbing. So there's ribbing along the shoulder and there's ribbing along the bottom right here. So I step back. This is my finished t-shirt cardigan. So it's got this nice little collar here the ribbing on the bottom, again, ribbing on the sleeves. And it's gonna be perfect for a spring into summer kind of uh, wardrobe staple. Um, I did order a zipper, so I am gonna try to 
attach a zipper to the front of this, which I will video so you guys can see that hot mess because I have a feeling it's going to be interesting trying to hand sew a zipper into such uh, chunky yarn. Um, but I'm up for the challenge because I think it'd be fun. I've never put a zipper into any of my um, finished objects before, like my cardigans and things. Um, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. There is some curling um, here, and then there's obviously curling where the ribbing is, which is pretty normal. I did wash this, so that's the other thing. This is washed. Um, I did delicate cycle cold water. I do feel like it faded a little. So if we can get these side by side. The colors did fade a little, which I kind of figured they would, but I wanted to see if it would make it a little bit softer, and it did. So it's a little bit softer. It still has some stiffness, but I think over time as I wash it, it'll wear in just like a t-shirt would wear in. So even if it fades, um, I think it's going to be really fun. I'm excited. I am going to write this pattern up. So if you're interested in the pattern, be on the lookout. I have a feeling this will be one that I release um, as we get further into spring and closer to summer because I will have to get it tested. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give Hooked Spaghetti a try if you have not before. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. And then, of course, I love bright colors and it's, they have a lot of bright color choices. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining in. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't, uh, if you don't wanna miss out on any future videos. And until next time, happy hooking!